Now let us look at the steps which the government has initiated in India for the development of agricultural marketing in rural India. The first is the formation of the regulated market that is to say it is a place where sale and purchase takes place of agricultural produce under the supervision of the government representatives. So, there is no cheating which is involved. It is regulated, monitored very carefully. Then is the cooperative societies. The cooperative societies are also encouraged by the government of India wherein they have groups who go for collective sale. So, there is no distress sale. A farmer is not forced to sell a produce under whatever price he is getting. Then warehouses are given to the farmers where they can store their supplies and sell whenever they want to. In this we also have the cold storages. Besides the good transport facilities provided by the government of India also encourages that there is regulated marketing system in India. Then the MSP or the minimum support price policy of the government of India by which the government promises to give a minimum support price to the produce is actually a wonderful step. Now all this is the agricultural production but since the population is increasing every now and then we cannot depend upon mere farm, on mere land. We have to diversify in order to encourage more employment, in order to encourage more sources of income. And for that, first of all, the stress is laid on the farms itself. Whereas earlier, the farmer had only single farming or single cropping system. Now we have multiple cropping system. That is in a year he can produce more than one crop. Besides earlier the farming in India used to be subsistence farming. That is the farmer used to produce just to support himself and his family. But now the farming has become commercial. That is he has to earn out of the produce that he has. Now going out of the farm products. There are other sectors also which have been given encouragement so that the income is generated in the rural areas. For this we have the animal husbandry that is the rearing of poultry and also of various other animals so that some income is generated. Then we have the fisheries wherever there are water that is to say in places like Kerala, Maharashtra and other such port areas where fisheries is possible the government encourages this aspect also. Then we have the horticulture. Horticulture means the growing of fruits and when the fruits and vegetables are grown on a large scale then the farmer naturally gains. And lastly, the cottage industry is given a boost. Whether it is weaving, whether it is doll making, whether it is any kind of dye, it is all under the category of cottage industry. And the government encourages cottage industry by giving small loans to these people, by exempting them from all kind of duties and other such restrictions, which means besides the farm area where we have shifted from single cropping to multiple cropping, from subsistence farming to commercial farming. The animal husbandry, fisheries, horticulture and cottage industry have definitely helped in the growth of income in the rural areas.